drama. He says agents had guns even before he became police commissioner. And in sport, TNT Under-15 Rising Stars batters wilt against Guyana. Hot and sunny conditions set to continue into the weekend, but from Easter Monday, some rainfall will be moving across the country. I'll have the details in tonight's weather forecast. Top of the news tonight, the driver wanted by police in connection with this morning's fatal hit-and-run accident in Freeport is expected to surrender to police. This after his black Hyundai Ionic car was impounded by the Central Division Police. The accident was captured on a dash cam and went viral almost immediately after it was posted on X. 55-year-old Neil Balai of Eccles Trace, Spring Village, Valsane, a driver employed with the Kiss Baking Company, died in the accident, while his co-worker, Terence Jagisa, remains warded at the Kuva District Hospital. The dash cam footage shows a black Hyundai Ionic speeding down the highway and colliding with the Kiss van, causing it to crash off the southbound carriageway. Balai was pinned under the wreckage while the driver never stopped. This led for a manhunt by the police general manager of Kiss Sunel Budram told CNC3 News they are liaising with the Balai family but will not release any media statements at this time. Well, we now join Police Road Safety Coordinator Brent Batson for the latest on this incident. Mr. Batson, how did the authorities locate the driver and how did you learn of his potential surrender? Well, first, uh, greetings to everyone, uh, all the viewers. Um, and of course, uh, I just want to extend sincere condolences to the uh, victim's families. Um, and this is again a uh, 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 literally a reminder uh, of how uh, quickly uh, unsafe road use, you know, re results in unnecessary loss of life on the roadways. Uh, we, again, the, we were notified uh, of the Highway Patrol uh, responded to the um, uh, road traffic crash uh, report. Um, and when the officers uh, arrived on scene, uh, the driver had already fled the scene. Um, however, uh, once the we also did get some eyewitness uh, reports, so we actually got an idea of the place even before uh, the social media uh, footage started to circulate. Mm -hmm. um, this, of course, kicked into gear from an investigative standpoint involving uh, the Cuba police uh, in where the district, the, the, the district where the incident occurred, um, as well as us at the uh, Higher Patrol the Surveillance Unit. Um, Again, we also got some good intelligence um, because it seems what persons were, some persons were unaware of was um, even after uh, crashing into the KISS van, uh, there was another secondary crash that he was involved in. And uh, so that was another scene that he fled. Right. Um, and again, he also failed to render aid uh, on the scene as well, or reported for that matter. Mr. Batson, um, we understand his, the vehicle uh, in question is currently impounded. Where was that vehicle found? Was it abandoned? No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't abandoned. It was uh, again um, through information that that, that uh, a tip um, through I, the public members of the public, we were able to uh, locate that vehicle. Uh, Cuba police were able to secure it. Um, it was actually um, at uh, one of his family members' location, from the information we have, um, and um, it, 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 it corroborated and, and matched the make model and description of the vehicle that was involved in the incident. Um, so, of course, the investigative procedures kicked in immediately to secure the evidence, which they did. Um, and um, as everybody may be aware, it, it, we also did confirm that he's, he's a, a member of the regiment um, and he is, uh, he is now cooperating uh, to enable for us the investigation to commence and give the necessary um, statements and so forth. Uh, it, it is disappointing because um, it, it, it was unnecessary, and I want everybody to remember, if, if, if God forbid, like I said, you once you are involved in an incident, um, you, you must stop, you must stop, report, you have a duty to render aid. Um, we, timing is so important and critical in, in seconds when you, when you have to, um, need to assist, uh, whether you may be trained in first aid, uh, sometimes it may be the person is incapacitated. It could be the situation where just by moving him out of the vehicle, uh, a seat belt or something could be resting on his airway. So just by being there to assist can make a major difference. But if you flee the scene, um, you know, and, and, you don't, and you don't render aid, well, of course, unfortunately, it could quickly result in a tragic situation like what appeared. Mm -hmm. Mr. Batson, there is speculation on social media that the driver of the black vehicle may have possibly committed other driving offenses. Is this something that you can confirm to us? Well, uh, again, 
going on the footage that we saw, um, we, we, we did see um, some forms of, uh, and again, I, I don't want to preempt uh, the investigation, which is currently ongoing. Um, what, what we did see from the dash cam footage was uh, a high degree of recklessness. Um, but that being the case now, the one of the uh, one of the key uh, charges which we will be looking at is causing death by dangerous driving, um, which is the most serious charge in the Euro Traffic Act. So um, definitely I'm sure the investigators will be looking into that as well. All right, so we, and people are understandably outraged about this incident, but should the public be cautious at this time about what's being shared on social media? Well, it's not, not being shared. Well, I think what is important is that persons uh, should really see the benefit of investing in, in, in dash cams, even personally, for your own vehicle. Um, it, it, it immediately removes speculation. It gives quick factual corroboration of what actually occurred with the timestamp. Um, of course, the more high-end ones, you can see front and rear view footage. Um, and, and this is definitely something which aids investigators. Um, more importantly, even insurance investigators. Um, and, and it's a little bit disappointing because you would think that from this that happened this morning, you know, and, and like you correctly said, the, the social media has already infuriated by, by, by what they saw. And um, literally just less than an hour ago, we were coming back off patrol uh, where we stopped the driver who was looking as if he had a, 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 a absolutely long period of time in, 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 in a rum shop, and um, he failed the breathalyzer, and we just arrested him, and he's now being charged for DUI. And, and what was amazing, his excuse for us, was that, well, he and his colleagues were celebrating a long weekend. Mm -hmm. And they asked him, why didn't he let his other colleagues, somebody else drive who could drive? Right. And he said, well, no, everybody else is more drunk than him. Mr. Batsu. So he, he thought he was less drunk. I'm running out of time, but I do want to stick in one very quick question to you. Uh, we are almost midway through the Easter holidays. The roads are a bit clear these days. What advice would you give to motorists in light of this accident? Yeah, well, uh, again, the, uh, I want everybody to... The all road users, and only general public to understand, uh, the Commissioner of Police has mandated uh, an absolute blanket of security across the nation with regards to increased patrols, presence, and exercises, uh, which will be occurring across the nation with Trinidad and Tobago. And it's really, really important that persons uh, expect these roadblocks, um, obey road traffic laws, and, and such as expect DOI exercises, expect road checks. So please ensure that you have your documentation, ensure that you have a designated driver, and will be all road traffic laws. Uh, the senior superintendent traffic and highway patrol will be deploying um, speed exercises, DUI, and general road, road policing enforcement. We're asking the support of the public by being safe out there. And those who are going to the beaches, please report your camps to the district uh, police station so they're aware that you're present, uh, aware of your presence, like I said, on the beaches and so forth. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Batson, the road safety coordinator, and confirming to us here at CNC3 that the person, uh, the suspect in that hit and run accident, uh, may be a member of the regiment. All right. Let's now go to senior reporter K. Marie Fletcher, who's at the home of the hit and run accident victim. K. Marie, what's the sentiment at the home at this time? It's quite a sad and somber environment as one can imagine as family members continue to enter the home of Neil Balai as they prepare for his wake tonight. Um, we spoke to his wife off camera who's unable to speak right now. She told us that this is the time her husband will be returning home from work but it's now, she you knows she's now taking it in and accepting the fact that he will no longer be returning. However, with us here tonight we have a cousin of him, Shoma, and Shoma, can you tell us, you know, um, how have you been feeling and the family feeling since you received the news? So the whole family has been numb. To this point, we are still coming to terms with what has happened. We were on site. We had to view the scene. So we were there. We saw what was happening and we are still numb. This has been such a shock to us and happening, knowing that Neil left for work. Normally, no, as normal this morning, early this morning, waiting for him to come home, and he's not going to come home. And you said you were at the scene, but also um, 
A video of the accident and its final moments have been shared all over social media and there are a lot of tributes coming in as well to the family. You said his wife hasn't been able to watch that video. I mean, but tell us, seeing those final moments of how his life was taken, how has that, how have been family accepting that? The family can't accept that. That was so senseless. That was speeding. That was re totally ridiculous. That was not called for. You know, it's why was it this person speeding like this? Why did this have to, have to happen to our family member? Neil is one of the most careful drivers. His wife has motion sickness. He drives carefully on the road. So for this to happen to him, it's not, it's not acceptable to us. And um, Neil has been working at Kiss Bacon Company for the last 17 years. Has the, fa has the company reached out to you since? The general manager, the district manager, the area managers, all of them were on site. So they were there with us comforting the family, helping us through. Yes, they have also reached out to us. So yes. And you mentioned he's such a careful driver. Um, speaking about the driver that was involved in the accident, I mean, how is the family feeling towards that now? What are you hoping to get out of this? To tell you the truth, I am very angry seeing that video. You could have been driving slower. You should have taken your time. And to that person who caused that accident, please turn yourself in and justice will be served. These are the words of his cousin, Shoma Ragunanan, and speaking on behalf of the family, hoping that justice can be served and he can be turn himself into the police. Now, as this story continues to develop, we will continue to re bring this news to you. Thank you so much, Kimri. Well, still to come in the news, Mayaro MP Rashtan Pari refuses to stand down on his demands for UNC internals. He's now doubling calls for an election date. TNTech's decision to restructure and reassign workers causes tension at the company. Coming up in sport, Trinidad and Tobago's Carifta contingent touches down on the Spice Isle. To strengthen your immune system, you need to nourish your body with foods rich in antioxidants. Exercise regularly and build your immunity with supportive nutrients. That's why the experts at Jameson created products for immune support made with pure ingredients. For 100 years, Jameson has helped take care of you and your family. At Jameson, your wellness will always be our goal. Jameson, here for your health. You've set big goals for your future, and we can help you to achieve them. Getting that degree you've always wanted, buying your first car, making it official on a truly special day, or building a home that's your own. Big or small, share your ambitions with us, and we can help make them real. shopkeeper is found dead in his Diego Martin home this morning. Police say Stephen Harding was found tied up, gagged and his head duct taped while bandits took the keys to his shop. They believe he suffocated. This was the seventh time Harding was robbed in his neighborhood of Green Hill Diego Martin. Relatives say although he had been a victim of crime numerous times, it had not dimmed his spirit to continue operating. The woman who was caught on camera kicking a two-year-old child to the floor on Tuesday has been charged with cruelty to a child. She appeared before a magistrate today. According to head of the Special Victims Department of the Police Service, Su Superintendent Claire Guy Allen, the woman was taken for a mental evaluation at the St. Anne's Hospital. She's being observed at the facility for the next two weeks. The accused is set to reappear in court on April 18th, and the matter will be transferred to the Chagornas First Magistrate on April 29th. The video, which serviced on social media on Tuesday, shows the woman screaming and kicking the infant to the ground. The child was taken for medical attention and is, is in the custody of the Children's Authority. Former Police Commissioner Gary Griffith is accusing the Prime Minister of being ignorant of the country's laws. Yesterday, the Prime Minister reveals that former SSA member and self-professed spy, Pastor Ian Brown, was heavily armed with weapons from the police service. However, today, Griffith told CNC3 News that SSA members were issued firearms by former commissioners. The audacity of Keith Rowley to actually be so naive, if not stupid, to believe that the cabinet has approval 
to give units in not in the state approval to have firearms. Keith Rowley, you are a civilian, you are a politician. No cabinet can give approval for an army in the state to have firearms. The only person that can do that is the commissioner of police. Dr. Rowley also said the police's research and analytical unit did not report directly to him and that spyware purchased under a former commissioner was handed over to the SSE. Griffith clarified that the equipment purchased during his tenure was not interception equipment. However, he adds the police budget allows for equipment purchased by them to be used by the SSE. In this era, going into the second quarter of the 21st century, the type of technology that is available, it shouldn't just be that you, you have to keep running to the SSA, where a police service is supposed to have some degree of technological capability to be involved in, in certain aspects, not interception, however, which is what we're here now after I left. CNC3 News contacted Police Commissioner Erla Herwood Christopher for an update on the police investigation into the SSA following the March 2nd shakeup. While she did not answer the call, her communications unit said her response last week at a media briefing that she was not going to comment on the investigation remains. CNC3 News also messaged the Prime Minister but up to news time, got no response. So given the issues disclosed about its operation, we asked people whether they think the SSA should be revamped. Here's tonight's People Say segment. The People Say, brought to you by Excel Health TT, the official supplement of the CPL. Well, I think that is what's happening right now. It is being revamped. After they finish with all this inquiry, I think that is when they will make the decision as to exactly what they should do. I can't say anything much about that because I don't know much about where you want it. It should be. Well, I, say I feel it's supposed to be revamped. Because, because at the end of the day, too much of things happening. I really don't know. Really, truly, you don't know. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I should. No, nah, definitely just so. I don't think so. I don't believe so at all. The people say. Brought to you by Excel Health TT, the official supplement of the CPL. Mayor MP Rushton Parry says his calls for the UNC to hold its internal elections are far from over, and now he wants an exact date. However, as Akash Samru tells us, while Parry is adamant that his actions are in the best interest of the political party, political scientists believe he is in fact hurting the UNC. It's far from over, and he's far from stepping away from the issue. Despite saying on Wednesday afternoon that he will not further calls for internal elections through the media, Rushton Parry used the CNC3's The Morning Brew platform to clarify that he's still fighting for what he believes is right. I want to make this clear. I am not in the business of standing down. I am in the business of standing up. In addressing allegations made against him by his political leader, particularly those that called him a PNM operative, Paris said twice the UNC screening committee for elections dismissed claims of a PNM affiliation as all talk and campaign banter. All of these matters were on the docket. Again, they identified Paris. It is foolishness. Let's move on. You will continue to serve and be the candidate. Now that he's confirmed he's not letting up, the Mayaro MP wants more than just the promise that the elections will be held. He wants an exact date. And we can make the UNC stronger to be a stronger Trinidad and Tobago. But political scientists disagree. In fact, they believe the way Parry handled the situation is in fact weakening his party. Do you hear the PNM washing the dirty linen in public? They consolidate within, within the party. They don't come outside and make the, their, their noises. Furthermore, Dr. Bishnu Raghunath believes the issue is not as easy as Kamla Pasad Bissessa simply setting a date for the internals, given that there are now two local government by-elections to consider. The UNC is going to wash all the dirty linen in public and all their, their campaigning against one state against the other state. And how will that impact upon an election? Meanwhile, Dr. Indira Ram Pasad said Pasad Bissessa's fiery comments about Pari this week was not just aimed at the Mayaro MP. I think basically she laying the ground rules for all of them to follow. All of them who think that they can just be a member of the party and just carry on. Dr. Ampasad said this was more than a call for internals. She believes it was a direct challenge to Pasad Bissasa's leadership.
Akash Samaru, CNC3 News. TNTEC workers are in uproar over a move by the company to restructure and reassign staff. During a protest today outside the San Fernando office branch, Branch Secretary of the Oilfield Workers Trade Union Christopher Peters says workers from San Fernando are being asked to report to Point Fortin and Rio Claro for duties. He says this move is disrupting the lives of 2,800 employees and as they accuse the TNTEC management of being inconsiderate, the workers say they expected better treatment. TNTEC has responded saying its employees returned to work. Management has met with the union to discuss the grievance. However, it says it is disappointed that the matter was addressed publicly and may have been contrary to the Industrial Relations Act. Because of this, the Commission will be considering if any disciplinary action should be taken to address this morning's protest. In tonight's Business Watch, the latest central bank monetary report acknowledges a slight rise in inflation but believes the country remains on course for steady economic growth. Meanwhile, despite slashing flower prices midway through last year, NFM saw increased profits for 2023. Peter Christopher reports. Business Watch, brought to you by End Cash. Scan, pay, done. Despite a slight increase in inflation, the central bank says Trinidad and Tobago continues to show signs of steady recovery supported by good credit expansion. In its monetary policy statement for March 2024, the bank notes, data from the Central Statistical Office shows this recovery was led by non-energy activity in 2023, with this set to continue with strong performances in the wholesale and retail and construction sectors. The report also notes a slight decline in the unemployment rate. However, it does note that headline inflation rose to 0.8% year-on-year in February 2024 from 0.3% in January, with core inflation, which excludes food prices, remaining at 1% over these two months. Food inflation was registered at 0.1% compared with a small decline recorded in January. The report adds, on the 12 months to January 2024, financial system credit grew by 7.9%, driven by lending to businesses and consumers, while the real estate mortgage credit grew by 4.7%, slower than the 6.9% growth evidence in December 2023. The central bank says it will maintain the repo rate at 3.5%. National Flour Mills has reported increased profits for fiscal 2023. In the company's financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2023, Chairman Nigel Romano reports profit after tax increased by 28.6 million from 6.9 million to 35.5 million in 2023. He explains that in 2023, NFM's revenue increased to $577 million through prudent grain purchasing and other cost management initiatives. This, he says, led to increased gross profit from $93 million in 2022 to $152 million in 2023, while operating profit also increased by $46.9 million year-on-year -year from $12.4 million to $59.3 million. In July last year, NFM reduced floor prices by 10% after raising its prices twice in 2022. And now for a look at today's energy and foreign exchange prices. Peter Christopher, CNC3 Business Watch. Business Watch, brought to you by End Cash. Scan, pay, done. Let's tell you what's still to come in the news tonight. He creates content not for the likes, but Macklin Celestin wants to inspire positivity, one video at a time. With light winds, strong daytime heating, we saw cloudy skies develop by the late morning through the afternoon, causing some pop-up showers in interior areas of Trinidad and even southwestern Tobago. Those brief heavy showers caused some street flooding in parts of Omera Road in Arima. And we did see those cloudy skies dissipate as we head into the evening hours, but some upper level clouds from South America began streaming across the area and that pattern will hold as we head through the overnight hours. And more sunny conditions are forecast for the next couple of days with hot temperatures, but some rainfall is expected by Monday. I'll have the details after the break. Girl, it's bum, bum, bum.
for traffic I in here and I'll definitely be late because I still have to pass by the ATM to get cash for you. So say no 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 don't put you on that. You can pay with cash. So just come straight, yeah. Encash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Encash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Encash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Download the app and create your wallet today. Fellow citizens, I am Joy Abdul Mohan. Many years ago, we declared through our constitution our desire to live in a democratic society with respect for the law, supported by public institutions that respond to our needs. A strong constitution must be relevant to every citizen, including children and the youth. We've heard about reform before. Let us speak out now and make it happen by submitting our views to constitutionalreform2024.gov.tt by April 15th. It's our future, our constitution, our voices. Tell us about vitamin D3. Why is it important for the human body? So it's important for brain health, bone health and strength, muscle health and strength. It's important for your immune system. It's important really for overall health. Dr. McCullen, what makes uh, vitamin XLD3 so superior to the other vitamin D3s out there? The form, so vitamin XLD3 is the most absorbable form, and then it's the right dose. Wow. Stores Gulfview and Marabella. Explore our bold and trendy collections of eyewear. Experience the latest lens technology. Earn and redeem points with your Massey card at Ferrera Optical inside Massey Stores Gulfview and Marabella. Need a new right now? Get pre qualified for a vehicle loan at answerbank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into Answer Bank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoy from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre qualified at answerbank.com. Terms and conditions apply. It's not just a signal. That's a call. For war. Arima Door Center, manufacturers of quality wooden panel doors, flush doors, pine doors, cedar doors, kitchen cupboard doors. Arima Door Center, located at number 4 Cleaver Road, Arima. Arima Door Center, made in TNT. Plumbing problems? Don't guess. Call Plumbing Solutions at 628-4646. 
proud to be serving Trinidad and Tobago for over 20 years. We do it all. Maintenance and repairs, new construction, sewer lines, inspection, drain cleaning, leak detection. We are licensed and insured. So call Plumbing Solutions at 628-4646. now with our Easter weekend weather forecast. Colleen, I want all the deets on the heat and the wind, please, because I know there'll be a lot of kite flying this weekend. Yeah, well, we're not going to have a lot of wind, which is usually typical for an Easter weekend. And we are actually going to see quite hot temperatures through Sunday and then come Monday, we'll be seeing a bit of rain. So a little bit of everything except wind this weekend. Let's go take a look at what's going on across the Atlantic. What we do have is a deep layered low pressure system north of the Lesser Antilles that has weakened our wind regime across Trinidad and Tobago. And we have an induced trough. This is an area of lower than usual pressure in the atmosphere that brings unsettled weather that's well to our east and that will drift towards Trinidad and Tobago over the next coming days forecast to get here by Monday through Tuesday bringing some unsettled weather then but before that mostly dry air across Trinidad and Tobago leading to sunny skies but with no wind present our sea breezes really take hold and that's why you'll see some pop-up isolated afternoon showers especially in interior areas of Trinidad and hilly areas of both islands as well and that means you can see some very brief but heavy isolated showers during the, those afternoon hours which could cause some brief street flooding. Now not a lot of Saharan dust this weekend but we do have quite a bit of smoke leading to some spectacular sunsets over the last several days. Today we saw air quality across the country between good to unhealthy levels as a result of those bushfires for tomorrow and through the weekend our air quality will vary between good to moderate levels as a result of some very mild Saharan dust and smoke that has been sticking around. Weather-wise tonight things remain partly to mostly cloudy as we have some upper level clouds around but not a lot of rain minimum lows between 23 and 26 degrees for tomorrow a very hot day maximum high temperatures coming in between 34 to 35 degrees in Trinidad, around 32 degrees in Tobago, and that pattern will hold as we head through the weekend. For seas, marine interest should exercise caution with some occasional long period swells affecting our northern coastlines. Seas in open waters up to 1.5 meters in sheltered areas less than one meter, but occasionally choppy. And our extended weather forecast, quite sunny through Sunday, and then we'll start seeing a bit more rain come in on Monday into Tuesday. So not good news for kite flyers because we won't have a bunch of a wind, but it's quite a great time to be outdoors. Just watch out for those afternoon showers. Yeah, I'm looking forward to catching one of those spectacular sunsets you mentioned. Same. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Colleen. Let's take a break. Stay with us right here on CNC3. Welcome to Anand Low Price Industrial Tires, your destination for quality and durability on the road. Introducing our top touch tire brands, Step Rising, Grimax, and Dura. Unleash the power of step rising, where quality beats strength. Experience the longevity of Duran, built to withstand the test of time. Embrace the road with confidence on Remax tires, engineered for durability. Visit our showroom at South Haven Shopping Center, David, where our wide range of tires are wins. Quality is not just our promise, it's our commitment to you. What if you can't make it to us? No worries. We can bring the tire shop to your doorstep. Enjoy free delivery because your convenience matters. Your time is precious and so is your vehicle. Don't compromise safety. Remember, tires are the foundation to your journey. Say no to cheap inferior tires. Invest wisely in the longevity and performance of your vehicle. We understand that tires are more than just rubber. They are the connection between you and the road. Worried about affordability? Fear not. We offer quality prices that won't break the bank. Because we believe everyone deserves the best. Anna Low Price Tires, your trusted partner in quality, durability, and convenience. Contact us at 366-4783. Let your journey begin with tires you trust. Period nights don't have to look like this. Move less, wake up to change. So change for a real night sleep with Always Overnight. Its three times protection system absorbs, locks the fluid, and keeps it away from your skin. For protected nights without leaks. Always. 
Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at CV Optical. Tell us about vitamin D3. Why is it important for the human body? So it's important for brain health, bone health and strength, muscle health and strength. It's important for your immune system. It's important really for overall health. Dr. McCullen, what makes a uh, vitamin XLD3 so superior to the other vitamin D3s out there? The form, so vitamin XLD3 is the most absorbable form, and then it's the right dose. Wow. Ahad Haya Limited. We provide the widest variety of Islamic clothing for men, women and children as well. Tactical wear. Shop for the newest designs of thobes, tactical gears, kaftans, abayas, scarf pins, exotic jewelry, exquisite atar perfumes, prayer mats, and much more. Located at Akbar Road, Charlieville. Opened 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Saturdays and 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sundays. Open every day till E. Ahad Haya Limited. Consistently giving you value for your money. Ramadan Kareem from Southern Food Basket. Get goat stew $22.95 per pound, beef stew five pounds for $99, Rabi dates 500 gram $24.95, Sultanas $8.95 per pound, extra large chana two pounds for $18.95, split peas five pounds for $17.95, cocoa two liter three for $24.95, blue waters 410 ml five cases for $100, Mabel's ketchup 750 ml three for $22.95, Smart Buy paper towels four for $17. 95. Get the best for less at Southern Food Basket this Ramadan. Visit us at Coffee Street San Fernando, SS Erin Road Pinal, St. Charles Village Princess Town, Southern Main Road Point 14. Are you feeling unwell? Did your doctor misdiagnose you? If so, a PET scan is what you need. Unlike all other scans, a PET scan detects 90% of cancers, especially where CT and MRI fail to do so and fool you and your doctor. If you have to ask, do I have cancer? A PET scan is your best option. When it comes to cancer, a PET scan gives the answer. Call us for a free consultation. The best buys and best savings are at JTA Supermarkets. Happy Coconut Milk Powder, 5 for $19.99. Maribel Peas and Carrots, 3 for $19.99. Island Pride Sardines, 4 for $19.99. Santa Rosa Chicken Vienna Sausage, 4 for $19.99. May Pride Sweet Kernel Corn, 3 for $19.99. Mabel's Peanut Butter, 2 for $19.99. Easy Wrap Aluminum Foil, 2 for $19.99. Carlton's Choice Paper Tower Roll, 4 for $19.99. And Island Pride Laundry Detergent, 2 for $19.99. And so much more. Specials valid until April 7th, 2024. JTA supermarkets where your total bill always costs less. Welcome back. While some youths are using social media for entertainment, there is one young man using the space to start a new trend. Macklin Celestin, who attends school in Dago Martin, is using various platforms to spread positivity. The 16-year-old is hoping to encourage his peers to do better in society, and Carissa Lee has his story. Like most teenagers, Macklin Celestin populates his TikTok account with videos of himself and his friends participating in or starting trends. Among these videos are positive messages that the 16-year-old hopes his friends will see. So basically, I see nudes on them now. Right? The man can alter really easily, though. You understand? Right? It's only fight, 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 fight. Celestin, a student of Diggle Martin North Secondary School who lives nearby, said he got the idea to spread positivity on his page after seeing negative content posted by others his age. My same age going to school fighting in the school clothes and they get sent to school to fight, they get sent to school to learn work. The aspiring motivational speaker told CNC3 News that many students have thanked him for helping them to embrace positivity. At that time in school, I had this boy who didn't like this boy and then one of the boys in them had some video, they come, come up to me in school and say, you know, I really like your video and thing and I say, and I say, so why you like my video here? Yeah, I had this boy who I didn't like and... Now we know I'm also well, right, that's the correct thing to do. Adults also appreciate his content. Celestin believes adults are lacking connection and communication when dealing with youths today. But he believes they can still get through to them, like his mother did with him many, many years ago. I grew up in a, I get to eat, right? 
and my mother used to teach me every day, do be like this, do be like that. The Form 4 student plans to continue spreading positive messages using the hashtag FullyJesus. This smart, you get influence, fully Jesus Christ. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News. Such an inspiring young man. Great job, Macklin. Let's hand you over to another young man, Jovan Ravello with sport. Not so young, but I'll take it. A supporter of Spain clips Eagles' wings to remain top of the TT Premier League. And we get an update from the Tobago team reported stranded in Manchester. Sport is up next. This Easter, don't eat the Easter bunny now. Come down to Cannes Poultry and Meats Limited because the Easter special is on. You can get 12 whole leg quarters, 12 whole wings, and 6 lamb slices for only $199. Meats in the Easter special are local, halal, Darul Ulum certified, and you can get this online on the Food Drop app. Happy Easter, everyone, and Ramadan greetings to the Muslim community. New remedy for the healthy function of the nerves in the feet and legs. The Remedy is a safe and strong vitamin formulation that works to reverse tingling, numbness, shooting pains, and burning in the feet and legs. And it's amazing. I never thought it would so quickly that I'm not getting any pains in my foot I used, I used to. Within two days, I had a nagging pain in my feet. It stopped. Call or WhatsApp them at 707-0680. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health and helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. The 2024 dry season is upon us. And with that expectation, harsh dry conditions, and in the face of rising global temperatures, we must all do our part to conserve our water use. At the Water and Sewerage Authority, we applaud the efforts made by citizens in 2023 to conserve water and value every drop. How can you get involved? By employing simple water conservation techniques at home. Here are some tips. Close the tap when brushing your teeth and washing dishes. Use a bucket instead of a hose when washing your vehicles and driveways. Repair leaks in toilets and overflowing water tanks. Use your washing machine for full loads only. Also, use the value every drop hashtag in your social media posts showing how you conserve our precious resource. Join the movement as we value every drop. I'm here with John Walsh. You guys may know him from America's Most Wanted. So, John, tell me, how has the addition of Omega XL to your daily routine affected your overall lifestyle? Incredibly. I was very skeptical. I catch bad guys for a living. I've had two fractured skulls, two broken jaws, eight concussions, eight broken noses. So I'm always searching for something to mediate that pain. If you're living with joint or muscle pain caused by inflammation, try Omega XL and see the difference it can make in your life. We're going to do this together. Introducing Pentax Water Pumps. With state-of-the-art Italian engineering and over 34 years of manufacturing experience, Pentax Pumps are the epitome of quality and reliability. Rest easy with our new and improved three-year warranty and after-sale support, ensuring your satisfaction. Choose Pentax Pumps for unrivaled reputation and outstanding performance. Where there's water, there's Pentax. Welcome back. Trinidad and Tobago's under-15 cricketers went under to Guyana by nine wickets today in the CWI Rising Stars 50-over tournament in Coolidge, Antigua. TNT opted to bat first and regretted it, scheduled for 83 runs in 24.2 overs. Zachariah Mohammed's 24 was the only resistance from the TNT batting order. Right-arm medium pacer Arif Khan was the chief destroyer for Guyana with five for 18. In reply, Guyana got to 84 for one in 18.4 overs in the chase. Pamareshwa. Palmer Eshwar Ram made 46 not out to complete the nine-wicket win for the Guyanese. TNT's next match is on Saturday against Barbados at All Saints. There were also wins for Barbados and the Windward Islands today. Barbados were big winners over the Leewards in Bethesda as they snatched a 94-run victory and the Windwards scored a comfortable seven-wicket win over Jamaica after restricting the Jamaicans to 193 for eight in Liberty. And now an update. The members of the Jarek Titans Sport Development 
team will spend the next two days housed at the Hilton Garden Inn in Old Trafford, Manchester. The team is in England for the Manchester International East Football Cup and is seeking assistance to foot a $600,000 TT accommodation bill. Speaking to CNC Sport, earlier, earlier today, club coach Brian Brown clarified that the contingent numbers 78 and are not, at least for now, in peril. On the street below a bridge, the arrangement, the, the, the accommodation was made long beforehand. The issue was getting the funding. The folks here, you know, in the, in the I guess it's a humanitarian move to still accept us in the goodness of their heart, even though business is business, um, to accept us. And we are here. We are going to spend two nights here at the Holiday Inn at the um, Hilton. And tomorrow, during the day, we are leaving to go to the Holiday Inn, right? Which, would, which is where we're going to spend the rest of time. Now, Brown says the group still needs the majority of the funding required to shore up their accommodations in Manchester. Having invested in excess of a million prior to the trip, the coach defended their decision to leave without confirming the team's accommodation. We would have invested a lot into the, the trip, and we stood to lose all of it or at least most of it, yes, you can say, well, what if you don't have the funding? If you didn't get the funding, well, then they will put you out. That might be so, but with our faith and our belief in, in humanity and with people, we, 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 we thought that we took a leap of faith. We would definitely take some stick for it, but I stand and believe that it was, we had more to gain. We have more to gain by way of exposing these children and giving them the experience than lose by way of getting criticized and, you know, negative publicity and stuff like that. Brown refused to identify who made prior commitments to Jarek, but said private entities, several businesses, and the TNT High Commission in London have been in touch since yesterday's video, and GoFundMe went live. The Easter Football Cup is scheduled for Saturday and Sunday. Jarek expects to, to field teams in the under-9, under-11, under-15, and under-16 divisions. Carifta Games, brought to you by Island Finance. Now to paraphrase Bonjigal and Team TTO touchdown in Grenada like aliens in a UFO today, bringing something quite different to the Morris Marshall International Airport. Of course, our men on the ground, Jassy Marika and Ignatius Wharton, were there to capture their arrival. Mass came to the Maurice Marshall International Airport in Grenada today as Team TTO arrived ahead of this year's Carifta Games. TNT's 68 athletes, accompanied by team officials, immediately made to feel right at home. Have you been surprised by this welcome? Yes, I have. It's a very welcoming welcome. It's very good, you know, giving us the hype that we need to compete. It means a lot. It's a lot of vibes. It's very good. And I am much more excited to compete for my nation now. Well, I mean, it's wonderful. I wasn't expecting this. It's good vibes, everything good. Trinidad and Tobago has arrived in grand style. Correct. Now it's only serious business. It's in fun and games no more. Team manager Jay Hugh Gordon certainly agrees. To be honest, it, it caught my off guard. It feels like a champion's welcome and not myself as a champion, but the team for all the hard work that we've put in so far and the great things that are in store for this very youthful and exciting team. Now that you guys are on the ground, it's time to deliver. I think really now is to get into the mindset that it's game time and it's time for us to come and get the job done that we started. So that was indeed a Trinidad and Tobago welcome for Team TTO in Grenada. But did you know that there is a Trinidad and Tobago track and field supporters group? This weekend they are in Grenada with the sole intention to... Jassy Marie from the Maurice Marshall International Airport, St. George's, Grenada. A welcoming welcome indeed. And as the 51st edition of the Carifta Games gets closer, we meet another pair of TNT first-timers who take aim at their first games and they want to make their presence felt at the Karani James Athletic Stadium. Hi, my name is Doshan Azama and I will be representing Trinidad Tobago at the 51st edition of the Crafter Games. I am 17 years old and I will be participating in the boys on the 20, 400 meters and 4x4. Well, this is actually my first time making the Crafter team. Um, my goal is to just go, in, go into the events and do my best and um, to hopefully walk out with a medal. And if I achieve those things, um, it will be great because I've been working hard towards it and it's been something I've been working for and been dreaming about all, all along. My name is Che Wickham and I'll be representing Trinidad and Tobago at the 51st Crifter Games. I'll be taking part in the boys on a 20 4x1 relay. 
I'm 18 years old and yes, this is my first time representing Trying to Big Body Crafter Games. My goal while heading towards the Crafter Games is one, to hopefully medal, or I strongly believe we'll medal, and also to break the national junior record. It would mean a lot considering this is my first Crafter and also the start of my career. Carifta Games, brought to you by Island Finance. Now the battle for the Trinidad and Tobago Premier League title continued last evening and leaders ACPOS came alive late to stay on top of the standings heading into Easter. Castan Cupid has the highlights. In the first match at the Rima Velodrome, AC Port of Spain met Eagles FC. The two battled a goalless halftime score as the exchanges were pretty even. The encounter came alive in the dying minutes of the match, 86 minutes to be exact, when Jamel Charles rose the highest to give the Capital Boys the one nil lead. The very next minute, it was friendly fire from Joshua Ragu, scoring an own goal to double AC put a spin advantage. You could not script this, Ragu made amends two minutes later in the 89th minute, pulling one back for Eagles, but no fairy tale ending in this one, AC took the 2-1 victory. In the second match, defending champions Defence Force looked to put the shackles on Caledonia FC. After no goals in the first 45, the big Brent Sam on his return to the Tetron men gave them the one the lead and they were well on their way to all three points as 90 minutes elapsed. However, in the fourth minute of injury time, Philip Tinto had a brilliant header to spoil the party as the points had to be shared in the one-all final. In other results around the league, Police FC got a 3-2 victory over Point Fourteen Civic to stay on AC Port of Spain's heels in second spot. Club Sando secured their three points with a 2-1 win over Prisons FC to move into fourth at Terminix Lahokita Rangers' expense, who slipped into fifth when Central FC got their second point of the season in a dramatic four-all draw in Lahokita. Cast and Cupid, CNC3 Sport. Much is expected of TNT's youthful team ahead of Friday's start of the Easter International Cycling Grand Prix, which gets going from 5 p.m. at the Arima Velodrome. With the country's senior riders focused on qualifying for the 2024 Olympics, the likes of elite Pan Am gold medalist Zion Polido, Commonwealth Youth Game medalist Sindel Samaru and Makira Wallace, as well as Tariq Woods, Ryan Dabro, Kyle Caraby, Phoebe, Sa Phoebe Sandy and Liam Trepti will represent the home team. They'll come up against cyclists from the USA, Brazil, Jamaica and Barbados who are also expected to line up at this year's edition. Tonight's, tonight's sport high is bittersweet, but we give Arif his jacket. Guyanese Arif Khan took 5 for 18 as Guyana beat TNT in the Rising Stars on the 15 tournament. But it was this beautiful in swinger and it also moved off the seam that toppled over Roberto Badri for that magic ball. Arif Khan, take a bow as you get tonight's sports high. What a welcome for Trinidad and Tobago's a athletes. Welcoming and welcome. Welcoming I love welcome. how she said that. Things. Jassy seems to actually be having fun tonight. Eh? Yeah, hopefully we have a lot to celebrate over the next three days That's as well. That's right. Sure. All right, thank you so much, Jovan. Let's take a break. Stay with us. This Easter, don't eat the Easter bunny now. Come down to Cannes Poultry and Meats Limited because the Easter special is on. You can get 12 whole leg quarters, 12 whole wings, and 6 lamb slices for only $199. Meats in the Easter special are local, halal, Darul Ulum certified, and you can get this online on the Food Drop app. Happy Easter, everyone, and Ramadan greetings to the Muslim community. Cancer, whether you have it or your doctors are looking for it, only a PET scan can give the critical details. First world countries now use PET scans instead of CT scans. Get the right scan. Get a PET scan. Call us for a free consultation. Wouldn't you just love a cup of Tetley tea right now? Dark, strong British blend to give you a good morning boost. Or Tetley decaf, all of the antioxidants, none of the caffeine. Losing weight or staying healthy your thing? Try Tetley green tea. Get the vitamins to boost your health with Tetley super teas. Or calm down with Tetley carbamyl. Wouldn't you just love a cup of Tetley tea right now? Tetley, a tea for everyone. Love the flavors you get with Tetley. Distributed by Amco, a subsidiary of Ansa Macau. 
He hit me. Will CG United cover this? Don't worry. Remember when I was in that competitive arm wrestling circuit? Ah! Bad crushing all those arms and dreams. So I took them all out for ice cream. And then we got crushed. Anyway, CG United handled my claims fast. That explains the arm. The best cover for the best value. CG United. Good like that. Unlock your mind's incredible capacity like never before. Introducing Advances Smart Plus, the groundbreaking solution that over time can help supercharge your memory, concentration, and unleash your mental performance. Our cutting-edge formula features an unparalleled blend of 13 clinically researched natural ingredients, selected for its proven ability to work synergistically to help optimize brain function. Feel the difference now with Advances Smart Plus. Available at leading pharmacies and Pennywise nationwide. Millions and millions of women are every year surviving breast cancer and living full and complete lives. I was diagnosed at a young age, below the age of 30, and the importance of health insurance was a huge eye-opener for me. It's not just about having medical insurance for your dental checkups and things like that, but critical insurance. It's really important to at least try your very best to have some sort of safety net for yourself and family. Join us on Caribbean Medical TV this Sunday on CNC3. There is a reason why Pagwa is popularly known as a festival of color in the Hindu calendar. During this vibrant Hindu celebration, which signifies love and rebirth, it is a kaleidoscope of pigments which brightens the occasion unlike anything else. But have you ever wondered about the symbolism and significance of the abir powder used in the celebration? Jesse Ramdeo explores this aspect and tells us more. Tonight's Pagwa feature brought to you by Spectrum Initiative. The Little Store Limited, Chatak, and Colorland. Beneath the open sky, you'll find this celebration of hues, a symphony of shades dancing together, all part of a dazzling visual feast that is synonymous with Pagwa celebrations. And while many are drawn to Pagwa's vibrancy, the festival has been etched in City Sankar's memory. Earlier on, in the days of my dad and my grandfather, I remember them and my aunts telling us stories of patching cornstarch with food coloring to make their own homemade powder. In India, we know that throughout the years they would have used colors of turmeric and red flowers, petals, leaves to give us these bright, exuberant colors. Sanka is also a director at the Little Stone Kirep. And it's here, shelves cascade with colored powder, also known as abiru, that adds exuberance to the festival. Nowadays, we use a base of cornstarch and food grade, chemi food grade colors or dyes that form our base for our colors. There's also a colorful symbolism behind the gulal or powdered hues. Whenever you're playing pa uh, pagwa, you always play with contrasting colors. And contrasting colors is what brings out the beauty in everything. That's really what we're celebrating. We're celebrating all that is good. As Sankar explains, liquid beer produced out of crystals have since become a hallmark in preparing for Pagwa. So these are pink crystals. And of course, we're making a concentrate. So in order to get this to dissolve very quickly, we're going to add hot water to the crystals. According to Sanka, a pack of beer crystals can produce up to a barrel of concentrate. Jesse Ramde, CNC3 News. Tonight's Pagwa feature brought to you by Spectrum Initiative, The Little Store Limited, Chatak, and Colorland. We've come to the end of the 7 p.m. news here on CNC3. And as we leave you, we want to wish everyone a very happy Pagwa, um, Easter, and Shouta Baptist celebration. Uh, we want to you know, encourage everybody to have a very safe weekend. So I'm Maria Rambley. I'm Ryan Beachu. I'm Jovan Ravello. And I'm Clay Hussein. Have a great weekend.